Hey guys, it's me Paris Bush and today I'm in my backyard and I'm going to be showing you a very personal side of me. I'm going to be showing you my cocks. Just kidding, I own chickens and I'm going to show you all my pet chickens. Come join me on my little tour of my backyard farm sanctuary. So usually I would clean up my entire backyard before I show you guys around, but honestly it's not realistic for me and my backyard is trashy and I'm just like embracing it. So you guys are going to see a lot of like just bags of trash, garbage, old eggs. It's just not very pretty back here, but it's fun. Um, so bear with me. I'm not perfect. Yes, like MTV Cribs. Welcome to my coop. Welcome to my chicken coop. It's really trashy. Okay, let's go find my chickens and I'll introduce you to them. All right, this she's the biggest girl and she's the easiest to catch, so we'll catch Tootsie first. Come here, Tootsie. Oh, oh my goodness, she's so big. This is Tootsie. She's a black cochin and she's a mute, which is really rare for chickens. She doesn't make any little noises unless you like absolutely like squeeze her or scare her, she'll make a noise, but usually she's just silent. She doesn't stay with the flock. She's always out on her own, um, which is also funny. She's a bit of a loner, aren't you? But you're so big and beautiful. So the black sheep, she's the black cock. She's the black cock. <laughs> she's, the, she's the big black cock of the, of the Maya chicken family. No, she does. Look at that booty. Hey, come on. One's covered. Here's an old bag of rotten eggs that I haven't thrown away. Come here. Oh. This, come closer. Come, don't be afraid. This is Hennifer. She's a lavender Orpington. She's kind of in between molting right now. But she's one of the queen bees. Well, she doesn't like to cuddle, but she's very friendly. So look at how pretty you are. You are such a pretty girl. Come here, Jubilee. This is my most neurotic chicken. This is Jubilee. She is a red cochin and she has had anxiety her entire life since she was a baby. Okay, I'll go. She's the orange cat of your chickens. Okay. No, not even. She doesn't have a good personality. No offense, Jubilee. Stop! Okay, so Jubilee is, Jubilee is the horniest bird I have. She's obsessed with getting bred by a rooster, except we don't have a rooster. So she attacks me all day long and tries to squat for me as if, as hens, ah! <laughs> she squats for me like a hen would for a rooster. She's basically like this. And I'm like, girl, I'm not gonna do that to you. So anyways, she's my horniest hen. Moon is my most petite chicken. She's a, um, what are you again? Did you just poop? You always poop on us! <laughs> Every time! <laughs> she poops on us every time. Okay, well, Moon has IBS. Moon, stop. Moon is a black copper marin and she lays really pretty dark brown eggs. She's also very good at raising chicks. She likes chicks a lot, but she has IBS. So she's one of the tummy ache girls. Just ignore all these trash bags here while I grab the last, is that the last chicken? Okay, this is Bunny. She's also losing her feathers right now and growing her new spring coat. Bunny is an interesting chicken because she loves um, nail art and she loves long nails. And you can see here, she has the longest toenails of any of our birds. Look at those nails. You're wild for that. Okay, last but not least is our beloved um, chicken god, who my son named. Hi, god. God is a very sweet um, Orpington, and she's just the sweetest laid back chicken. She's got an amazing fluffy round coat, and uh, we just love her. She's a good layer, and right now she's a little under the weather, unfortunately, but we'll pray for you, God, okay? We'll pray for you. Can I have a kiss? Nope. Bye bye. Say bye bye. That's it for our chickens, but now I'm going to introduce you to Mayonnaise, my pet turkey. I saved the best for last. So come here, Mayonnaise. Come say hello. 
Mayonnaise is a white Holland turkey and she is just the friendliest, sweetest girl in the whole world. Her biggest flaw is that she hides in the chicken coop and tries to hatch eggs like three months of the year every year because she really wants babies. But other than that, she's really sweet and cuddly and she always hangs out near us. And Mayonnaise really loves to be sung to. She's a spoiled girl. Isn't that right, Mei Mei? Yeah. We're catching something really rare right now, which is my female turkey Mayonnaise is pretending to be a boy turkey and she's got all her feathers out. She's got her head tucked down like the boys do. And you look so tough. Let me see you strut. Can you strut for me? Let me see. Let me see you strut. She's gonna do a really quick little run. You'll see it in a second. Watch, it's hilarious. Oh! <laughs> You're a very big girl, man. <laughs> You're a very big girl. You're so funny. You gonna give me a hug? Oh, she's giving me a hug. You're a sweet girl. Let's check the eggs in the chicken coop and see if anybody's laid any eggs for me today. See, come on in. Oh, I see one. Let's open this up. Hi, bunny. What are you doing? Hello. Just one? <laughs> We've got one little egg. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've got one little egg in the coop today. That's it. So hopefully we'll get some more later today. My last favorite thing to do with the chickens is when I have worms, I like to run across the yard with them and make them chase me. And it's really funny. So let's do that. Who wants some worms? Who wants some wormies? Are you ready? Come on guys. Good job! You're so good. Getting your exercise. <sighs> Alright.